Those Jewish leaders, those guys, they hated Christ. They wanted nothing to do with Him. They wanted no part. They saw nothing in Him. They easily blasphemed the Holy Spirit because they were intentionally rejecting everything about Christ. Listen, let me tell you something. If even one of those scribes had stepped forth out of the ranks and said, Lord, if you will, you could make me clean, he'd have healed them like that. You see, what the devil's constantly trying to do is whisper in people's ears that you can't go even though you want to because you've committed this sin. Don't believe that for a second. Scripture says, whosoever comes, whoever. You say, what if I've committed the unpardonable sin? Go to him. Because whoever. The son is bidding you come. The spirit and the bride bid you to come. Come. And it says, if you want, come. It says, if you're thirsty, come. That's what I would say. Whoever comes, he'll not cast out. You say, can I go even if I've committed the un... Yep, if you go, he's not going to cast you out. You take that to the devil when he's trying to stall you, scatter you, depress you, keep you down, make you miserable, put you in depression. You've got a God who says, call. In fact, he faults people. I, I cried to them and no one answered. Just say, it's not going to be me. I'm going to answer. Lord, I'm needy. Help me. I need you desperately. It says he saves to the uttermost. I need to be saved today just as much as I need to be saved yesterday. Lord, help. That ought to be the cry on the lips of everyone in here. Lord, help me. Like every day. Do you ever notice the Lord doesn't need sophisticated prayers? Lord, help.